Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP specialized in SharePoint. In this video, we will see how to set up your SharePoint framework development environment in Windows 10. So basically the SPFX, if you are working, this is popularly known as SPFX and uh, that development environment we will set up. This is the easy step to do this. So we need to install the Node.js and then you can use any editor so visual studio code or atom or webstorm you can use this uh, code code editors basically i prefer visual studio code because it's a free editor from microsoft uh, and uh, as a microsoft uh, mvp i use this and uh, but you can use any uh, editors and it is open source so now you can use it and uh, then we need to run uh, this uh, three commands, two commands we have to uh, run uh, you know after uh, Node.js installation. But the other command, uh, this uh, trust dev certificate command, we need to run after creating the project in the in the directory. And uh, so here basically uh, we need to follow a Microsoft guideline for this because Node.js version, the dependency version is important which which version it is supported so i will open uh, the uh, the mstn link so if you will uh, open the uh, microsoft link but before that if you are interested on sharepoint framework training uh, spfx developer training then you can check out the uh, url that i'll put in the comment section or in the description of the video you can have a look at this uh, this nearly 20 hours of videos and this, and i'm keep on adding on this so you can have a look at uh, the entire course module here now this is the url that i was talking about so if you'll see here actually they are saying that node.js lts latest version 10 is supported and uh, then here you can see uh, it is saying 10.19.0 so this this is the version that it should uh, open and this little bit of confusion over here if, because if i will open this uh, this 10 version then i will be able to see that uh, 20 versions version 20 uh, you can see it here but uh, if i will try to open uh, any of this link uh, you can see here it is going to four not found but if i'll actually scroll down then there are people have some suggested and then uh, uh, this uh, broken link is there so this uh, this is the original link which you can install actually so if your uh, uh, os is uh, 64 bit then you can use this 64 bit msi file if yours is uh, 86 uh, or uh, 32 bit then you can use the other one now there is uh, i would uh, suggest you go go for this this version uh, the version 10.19.0 uh, this is the microsoft recommended version i think 20 also is working so i will uh, click on this and then i will download it uh, basically so i'll go to the uh, i'll save it in the desktop so we saved it and we will install that in our local machine so i'm using here windows 10 but um, uh, you can uh, if you are using windows 7 or 8 also that will that is fine so I will go here now you can see here this is our setup file so I double click on this and then uh, you can see here just click on next accept the terms um, click on next install so pretty test installation so like a typical windows uh, screen installation so you can see here it is installing and it will just complete now so now you can see here the installation is complete so you can click on finish and by this time if i will now search for it then you will be able to see here node.js command prompt so if you'll click on that then you will be able to uh, come up with this uh, node.js command prompt and if you will now check the version so i will just type node hyphen v uh, then it should give me uh, the version uh, which is required according to the microsoft uh, and once it is done then we need to run a couple of commands to install uh, one is uh, to install the yemen and gulp so yemen which will help us to kick start the project so when you will create a new project that time and there are certain uh, uh, build commands that we can use through gulp we will see also how we are using those commands while working on uh, the uh, uh, creating our 
webpack now i will run here npm and uh, install hyphen g eo and then gulp so what exactly uh, npm we will see here is npm is uh, the node package manager this is this will in get installed when you will actually install no node.js and we don't need to um, separately we don't need to install anything so by default when you will install node.js it will be installed and that that will there we will run our commands which will install the additional components that that, that we required so now you can see here it, it installed successfully next we need to install those uh, Yomen SharePoint generator. This will actually create the SharePoint client side solution uh, with the proper project structure and then uh, with the with the right uh, tool chain also. So I will run the command. So npm again we will write the npm command npm install and then hyphen g at the rate Microsoft slash generator hyphen SharePoint. So you can see here i'll click on enter and it will take some time and then it will install this one now you can see here now this is also done so next we need to run another command that i said is the gulp trust dev uh, certificate command so this command actually we required when we will create a project and this is one time that you need to uh, run it so once you create a project then on that folder you have to run this command so I'll see, I will show you this when we will create a web part in the next video and this is required because uh, we this uh, it will run in the local uh, basically the local workbench on HTTPS by default so we need required to uh, have this signed SSL certificate so and next what we require is we can uh, use any editor so we can basically install any editor you can see here this is visual studio code uh, the free editor code.visualstudio.com and then you can see here this is uh, you can download the windows version and if you scroll down actually uh, you will be able to see um, if you want to install for various other versions and then um, 32 bit or 64 bit so whatever the way you can uh, you can download it and you can install it so i'll download this and then uh, we will install it you can see here now i will save it so now we will uh, install that so i will just double click on this this is the setup file that we have downloaded and uh, I, I will click on accept the term then i will check all these things and then you can see here we install this so this way we can uh, we install the uh, editor now so you can see here now our visual studio uh, is completed so installation is completed now at this time we have actually installed everything whatever we required except the gulp trust tape uh, certificate error this is basically we need to uh, create the project and we have to install it so in the next video we will see how we can create a folder and then how we can uh, use this how we can run this command and we can run the uh, project as well like the video then subscribe to our youtube channel you will get a lot of free videos on SharePoint, Office 365, SPFX, all these things. And uh, this is our Twitter handles and uh, our websites, LinkedIn and Facebook pages. So do like in our pages as well. Thank you and have a nice day.